What's up guys, welcome to today's vlog. Today I got something extra cool for you guys. This vlog is all about scissor over comb. So we're gonna do a, some scissor over comb work, but I also wanna go over which scissors are my favorite for scissor over comb and why I like that scissor. So we worked with our 5.7 inch uh, DB20 scissor from Mizutani, which is my favorite scissor you guys know of all time. And then I have my six and a half inch blacksmith fit scissor uh, from Mizutani and the Mac Daddy of all scissors, the seven inch blacksmith fit solid scissor from Mizutani in the titanium finish. So I'm gonna go through, show you guys which scissor I love the most for scissor over comb and also why I love it and also show you guys a little bit of technique as well. So let's get started with the video. If you have any comments, you wanna ask questions, post them in the comment section below. I read every single one of them and I appreciate them. Thank you guys for watching, here we go. All right, guys, so we're going to start off by smoothing out the hair. Anytime I'm going to do some scissor over comb work, I like to smooth out the hair, use a comb to blow it dry. Now we're using a paddle brush. This is our Ergo paddle brush on the top. So I use a 339 comb to smooth out the sides, which gets the hair going in the right direction. And then I go over it with the paddle brush. Now I'm using the Bricado Vibra Straight Iron to just smooth out the top. At the end of this video, we are going to have an end result. Uh, I'm going to style it up. But really, that top is just a nice disconnection. So I use the Vibra Straight Iron. I like this iron because it vibrates as it passes over the hair, creates less damage on the hair, and a much smoother feel uh, as it, as it drags over the hair. Um, the way that I got this disconnected top was everything was over directed completely back over top of the crown and it just pushes all that length and weight, gives me short layers on top and length in the front. You can definitely check out that video uh, on that full haircut on our channel. I'll link the description to that below. Now we're gonna get started with our three different scissors. You can see the DB20, the Blacksmith Fit, and the Blacksmith Fit Solid, um, all different lengths. So we're gonna start off with our DB20 5.7 inch. Now this is my favorite scissor that I have. The only reason I don't use this for scissor over comb is because of the length. As you can see, when you have a shorter scissor and you're working scissor over comb, the comb is longer and all I can get in there is about an inch and a half space with the blade as I'm cutting. So it doesn't make the cutting as efficient. When I go in with a six and a half inch scissor, which is this one, Blacksmith Fit, um, I love this one for scissor over comb. I'm not somebody that has to have a super long comb, but you can see how much more uh, reach I get with it along the comb and as I work up the hair. So it makes my work and detail a lot easier. So I'm gonna show you guys the blade up against the comb. You can see how far that blade reaches across the comb. Now I'm gonna go with my seven inch. You can see that blade reaches all the way across all of those wider teeth. And that's really what I'm looking for when I go in to do the scissor over comb. The thing with the Blacksmith Fit Solid, I do love this scissor a lot. It has smaller finger holes, so if you have a bigger hand, I would definitely go with a DB20 and a longer scissor. There's a 7.2 inch. Um, there's also a 6.7 inch if you're looking for that. So now I wanna break down the technique. So I wanna go through a little slow motion with the video. You can see that one blade stays very steady along the bone of my comb. The bone of the comb is where that hair is gonna kind of gather together. And then I use the my thumb blade to move up and down. So it pinches that hair down onto the bone of the comb and that allows a clean cut. So key things to focus on for scissor over comb is having a blade that is the right length, also using uh, wider teeth as you're working up the head shape, keeping that steady blade along the bone of the comb, and then only using that one blade as you move your thumb, just practice that. So I wanna show you guys start to finish on the right hand side, so we're gonna work through it. I've got my seven inch blacksmith fit solid scissor, so you can see how quickly and easily I can get this side of the head done. I'm using the wide teeth of my comb, keeping that steady blade steady on the bone of the comb, and just powering through it. You can see how far that seven inch blade stretches across. So that's, it, it 
shows you right there exactly why I like using uh, the longer blade and how clean it looks in the end result. So we're gonna go in with our Bricado Carve to style up the finished result. Nice little undercut feel to the hairstyle. Uh, so I'm gonna add in a little bit of texture. Hope you guys like this video. Definitely let me know if you wanna see more videos like this and check out our website, freesaloneducation.com. All right guys, like always, if you liked this video, then hit that like button, hit the share button, share this video with all of your hairdresser friends. Also, if you're in the market for new scissors, check out our selection of Mizutani scissors on our website, freesaloneducation.com. We have special deals going on right now, so go check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.